What's up guys, this is Foden of FoTK and we're going to be looking at using booleans inside of Maya. Now I know for a fact booleans can be used in 3ds Max, Cinema 4D, so this isn't specifically towards Maya, this is any sort of 3D program. So let's start off with putting some shapes in. Now the thing about booleans uh, is basically they use shapes to either add or subtract from each other to create a different mesh. And I'm going to show you the three different types of booleans you can use. So, uh, first ones we're going to look at is you go to mesh and then boolean. You've got union, difference, and intersection. Now, they kind of show you pictures of what they kind of do, but we're going to talk through it anyway. Now, union that uses two shapes that connect to each other. Now, I'm not talking about the whole, you know, say I want to connect these together like that. Put turn on wireframe so you can see. We want to connect them like that. We could just select both of them and go to mesh combine. Now that's combined them all together but if you go inside you can see that the mesh of the second cube is passing through. Now we don't, or if we don't want that we can use a boolean so control Z and what you want to do is you want to pick out a primary and a secondary shape. So this is the main shape so I'll this will be my primary one and then this is the one that's going to be cutting out so anything that's inside of this cube will be cut out and attached so that's what union does and I'll show you exactly what that is so we get our primary one first and then hold shift and then click secondary that's important you have to click the main one first hold shift and then click and then go to booleans and union as you can see there it's created edges around here and if we go inside now, oops, there we go. You can see that the mesh has been deleted. So, what, well, kind of what it's done is it's created vertexes on our main shape in order to connect our secondary shape to it. I mean, this will need some cleanup now, so some topology tweak. So, if we keep it all quads, we can do that with the multi cut tool. And same with the top. And maybe the bot uh, the top bit here, and this bit, um, and then, oops, underside here. So now we've I think no, and this one sorry. Yep, now everything's quad, and that's what boolean does. It you can use different shapes, and instead of just combining them together, it matches the topology as well. So they are are properly combined. Um, how do I explain it? Um, they're combined through their vertexes instead of just object inside object. So that might be helpful for you to use. Difference is the one that I commonly commonly use a lot. Sorry. So I use this to cut out various shapes. So say this is a wall and I want to cut out several windows. Um, and, uh, no, we won't do windows. Well, we'll kind of do rounded windows. So. We'll get a cylinder, um, hold V, snap it to this line, so then we got exactly half of this cylinder inside of this box. Um, let's probably size it up a bit. There we go. So say I want my window to be around that size. What I can do is duplicate these just over and over. This is really rough, but I'll show you exactly what difference does. Select all that minus that. And then we will go mesh combine, so that is now one mesh. Um, delete history, uh, and then if, again, click the primary source, hold shift, click the secondary, and then we can go to mesh, booleans, difference. And what it does is it uses that to subtract anything inside. Okay, so it doesn't leave just leave an empty hole, it creates or it uses the mesh from our secondary object to, to create and sort of inside mesh and again this is going to need various touch-ups with the topology as you got massive end gone here um, and that's the issue that you're going to run into most of the time is the cleanup but you know although booleans are very useful to create shapes such as this um, you know the topology in that is going to be the main issue um, so that's the difference and intersection if I get two cylinders, just so we can mix it up a bit, and I'll move them like that. Now, 
in, uh, intersection, I think it is. Yeah, intersection. So instead of this one cutting out this one or, you know, this one adding on to this one, what intersection does is it... Anything that you can see on the outside is going to be removed and only the middle bit is going to be kept. And the best way to do it is to show you. Intersection. So there we go. So we've got the inside of, say, sphere 1 and the inside of sphere 2. Yeah. Um, if I just click Control Z, you can see that if we actually zoom in, we can see all of this inside mesh here is going to be kept and the same on the other side of the other sphere into into this one yeah so intersection basically looks at both shapes go what's inside that's inside and then cut out the rest so if I do that again you can see again topology tweaks so delete by type history you probably get well I don't know if you have to merge these together no nope, that's fine that's one so you know these ones you can just tweak tweak these down a bit this one's quite a bit messy so we can bring those down um, and then what we'll do is we'll just do a little touch up on this and then we'll oops, look at the rest oops I think I've accidentally made a bit of a mistake there so we can bring those out and that one uh, bridge those together oops and then bridge these together and then bridge those two and I think that m might up on the other side nope we can then target weld these two together so it sort of matches on the other side nice and clean and that's what intersection does obviously you're going to need to have a lot of practice with various shapes using these booleans but the, the common one that I use is the uh, difference which is the middle one uh, which cuts out uh, objects out of other objects so I hope that is clear to you guys it's a bit tricky for me to explain but like I said um, union they combine and also combine correctly in terms of topology and vertexes and edges uh, difference cuts out and uh, I can't remember the other one now inter, inter, intersection sorry intersection keeps everything that's sort of in the middle that is hidden um, and I will just show you something else <clears throat> if you get something like a plane which is not a, I don't know, it's not a closed object and what I mean by closed object is a cube is a closed object because you got everything around and in terms of normals everything's white everything's correctly you know all the normals are correctly facing outwards you know if you go inside or go up to mesh display and then reverse it's all black because the normals are reversed for a plane it's not a closed object so on the other side it has you know the other normals so if I then go and try and cut this out here click on our main one click and uh, I'll click an old shift there we go go to mesh booleans and if I click on the little options menu here you got edge or normal if I click edge oh sorry normal then um, it literally just cuts out it doesn't create the the depth as well it just literally cuts the outside you know only edges so that might be useful for you as well but that's only I think if it's got a sort of an open shape I'll just try it quickly with a a closed shape just in case but I'm pretty sure it didn't work the last time I tried it so there we go that's fine click the primary hold shift click the secondary and normal no it doesn't um, so that edge in normal might come in you know use in different things but obviously if you want this shape to go into this one then you'll obviously keep it on the normal closed shape so um, but then again e even though you have a plane uh, one 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 you can still use the, te the technique like I showed you earlier edge oops that one click that and edge 
and then that will create that inside for you. But if you just wanted it to cut out, just go onto the normal. And there you go. So that might be helpful. Um, and I hope it's a good tutorial for you guys. And I'll try and cover these types of um, booleans in different videos such as speed modeling or tutorials or stuff like that. Which I will be coming on to soon. It's just um, gathering some ideas of what props and that to make. Because obviously the, the bigger and more detailed they are, the longer they're going to take. And these do take hours. So for a YouTube video it's quite hard. So um, I'll get to work on that and hopefully um, you'll like them. So. I'll see you next video, guys. Peace.